Hello friends, welcome to the UNITE Coaching. This is the second lecture of Linear Differential Equations and uh, in this lecture we are going to talk about complementary functions and particular integral. Right, so in the last lecture we have seen there are two parts of a solution of a linear differential equations that is complementary function and particular integral. Now in this lecture we are going to see how to find them. Okay, so let's start. So here comes the particular integral right so we have seen the general form of a linear differential equation that is we will always write it in this polynomial form right then we will have the total solution as y c of x plus y p of x where y c of x is what the complementary function and y p of x is what the part particular integral and we have seen uh, there are four cases possible in case of complementary functions now we will see the how to find particular integral right so we already know that d equal to d by dx right so d is an operator which is equal to the derivative and it is applied on a function right so in this case we can apply it on this y or we can apply it, uh, apply it on this uh, f of x right so this is what this derivative uh, will be used as but when uh, we use some integral then the notation comes as 1 by d right so d is the derivative and 1 by d is the antiderivative so it is basically the integral right so hence the particular integral can be calculated as this equation right so y p of x will be equal to 1 upon p, p of d and this will apply on f of x right so this 1 by p of d will be applied on f of x because 1 by p of d will be some integral form and what that integral form will be uh, that integral form will be what they will look like something of these types right so basically we will get a polynomial in the denominator or uh, polynomial of d in the denominator right and if it is 1 by d and if, uh, if it is applied on f of x then this will be equal to what integration of f of x dx right then after that we have 1 upon d square f of x dx then this will be equal to double integration 1 by d cube will be triple integration all right so this uh, this is how this 1 by d is perceived as right now if we have a function something like this then uh, that is 1 upon d plus m and it is applied on f of x then we will have e to the power minus mx integral e to the power mx into f of x dx right so this is a formula and whenever you see 1 upon d plus something or d minus something then you need to write this particular equation uh, right uh, while solving the question so this particular equation will be used whenever we you uh, we or you uh, will see this type of uh, expression all right so let's move on and uh, let's find how to solve these types of problems now we will see some types of f of x on which we will be applying that operator that is 1 upon d or some uh, 1 upon polynomial of d okay so the basically uh, we will see six types of uh, problems and they are as follows that is this f of x can be an exponential function right the, it can be an exponential function or this uh, uh, a to the power x right so they both are exponential functions and uh, if we have something e to the power 0 right or a to the power 0 then that number will be equal to what 1 uh, right and if we have some k times e to the power alpha x or uh, k times e to the power x then we uh, and that uh, x equal to 0 then uh, we will get what a constant 
right so if uh, first type is says uh, says that whether it is a exponential function or a constant function this will be of first type the second type f of x can be is a trigonometric function the third type is what hyperbolic functions fourth type is what polynomial function fifth type is what e to the power alpha x into g of x that is exponential into some function of x and fourth part is uh, sorry the sixth part is uh, a polynomial into some function of x All right so this sixth part is the last part so these are basically the types of f of x which can be appear in the questions right so let's uh, solve these first two in this lecture and then in the upcoming lecture we will see how to solve uh, the p of x that is the particular integral for these cases when f of x will be a trigonometric function polynomial function exponential into some function of g or exponential into some function of sorry the polynomial into some function of g right so let's uh, see these two first cases so the first uh, function is what exponential function right so exponential function i have told you uh, can be e to the power alpha x e to the power x or if we have e to the power alpha x equal to 0 suppose we have alpha equal to 0 not x equal to 0 because x is variable it can be anything but uh, we have alpha equal to 0 then in that case uh, we will have it as the e to the power 0 and e to the power 0 we know that e to the power 0 is equal to 1 right so in that case the if you multiply something with this function then that will become a constant so basically this constant is what it is e to the power 0 x right so these are all the exponential functions now how to solve these types of uh, how to solve the particular integral for these types of questions that is when f of x will be an exponential function so uh, I have told you y p of x equal to 1 by d 1 by p of d in, uh, is applied on f of x and here the, uh, the first case says that f of x is equal to e to the power alpha x then we will apply 1 upon p of d on to e to the power alpha x now when we apply this uh, 1 upon p d into e to the power up, uh, alpha x then we need to replace this d by alpha so we will get the answer right so y p of x is equals to e to the power alpha x upon p of alpha will be the solution or the particular integral for this first type of exponential function but this will be true if and only if the denominator is not zero so the condition says that if the denominator is not zero then we will have this d will be replaced by alpha that is the coefficient of x in the exponential right but uh, what happens if uh, p of alpha that is uh, the coefficient of uh, x that is the de dependent vari independent variable right so in the exponential the coefficient we need to choose and then uh, that coefficient will be put in the polynomial equation and after that we have to check whether it is zero or non-zero if it is non-zero then this will be the answer but if it is zero then we will have to do this thing that is y p of x equal to x into e to the power alpha x divided by p dash of alpha so this will be true when p of alpha is equal to 0 but not the p dash of alpha right so the denominator here the case uh, again comes the same that is p e uh, the p dash of alpha that is the denominator should not be 0 okay so suppose again we have that p of alpha and p dash of alpha will be equal to 0 then how we are gonna proceed so the basic general formula is that we need to uh, put this the we need to take the kth power and the kth differential of the polynomial equation and then multiply it by e to the power alpha x and this uh, exponential uh, sorry the kth differential of the polynomial will be evaluated at alpha right so if alpha p of alpha p dash of alpha and p uh, double dash alpha till we get uh, the k minus 1 the differential of the polynomial equation uh, all of them are equal to 0 then 
uh, we will have this to, uh, this type of solution that is the particular integral will be of this form if the p the kth differential is not zero so we need to move until we get the non-zero differential right so this is the first case when the uh, e to the power alpha x is the ans uh, is the type of function now if we have a to the power x so in that case y p of x will be equal to 1 upon p of d which will be applied on a to the power x now uh, this a to the power x i have told you in the uh, last to last uh, slide that this will be equal to what e to the power x ln a all right so here you can write a to the power x ln e and that ln e uh, so the ln e part and this a part can be interchanged so this will be e to the power x ln a right so e to the power x ln a this is the same case as the previous one right so here we need to do what here we need to uh, put the ln a in the denominator right because the coefficient of x is what ln a so e to the power x ln a upon p of ln a will be equal to what this will be equal to a to the power x p of ln a so if it would uh, if it would be a form it would be of the form that is the function f of x would be of the form e to the power x then we need to replace this denominator uh, operator d with ln of all uh, sorry ln of a okay so the answer will be by p of x equal to e to the power x divided by p of ln a now we have the constant case so if a uh, polynomial will be applied one upon polynomial of d will be applied on c then we need to take what the integration so when we uh, you, and i have told you this c is basically what c into e to the power 0 e to the power 0 is 1 so this c into 1 will be always will always be 1 so 1 upon p of d equal into or it is applied uh, on e to the c into e to the power 0 so that we get uh, we now need to replace this d by 0 right so this uh, replace this uh, d by 0 then we will get answer as c upon p of 0 so the particular integral for the constant case of the function will be c upon that is the same constant divided by uh, polynomial of 0 right that is the constant part of the polynomial right so c upon p of 0 will be the answer so these are basically the uh, or these are the steps basically how to find the particular integral when function is of the exponential form now we will see some examples based on this so now the example we have here is d square plus 7d plus 6 applied on y is equals to e to the power minus 1x plus e to the power 3x plus 2 to the power x plus 1 right so this is the function f of x and this is the polynomial p of d so y p of x will be what 1 upon p of d applied on f of x right so uh, in this case uh, that is exponential function or uh, constant we have just seen that we need to replace this d by alpha that is uh, e to the power alpha x in this case we need to replace d by uh, alpha to the power e to the power x in that case we need to replace this d by ln of alpha and in the case of constant we need to replace this d by zero right so we need to replace this uh, d by minus one in this case by three in this case by ln two in this case and by zero in this case but uh, when you will put minus one you will get zero for the polynomial right so you put minus one one minus seven plus six you will get zero so for that we need to do what we need to uh, put an x in the numerator and put uh, and then take the differentiation that is first differentiation of the polynomial and then uh, uh, replace the value of d by minus one okay so we have here is the uh, factorization of polynomial equal to d plus one into d plus six so when we put d equal to minus one we will get a zero so that is why we are putting a minus one right so sorry the x in the numerator and uh, 
differentiation in the denominator so that is why we will get uh, this x and p dash of d here right so here it should be p dash okay sorry uh, there is a typo in this okay so here it should be p dash of d and then we have replaced p uh, d by 3 so p of 3 p of value 2 and p of 0 now when when we pull the value of minus 1 equal to 0 then we will get what uh, 0 so that is why we have put it this p, of, p dash of d so we will get what x e to the power minus x p dash of 1 e to the power 3x divided by p of 3 plus 2 to the power x p of ln 2 plus 1 by p of 0 you put all these numbers in this equation you will get your answer that is 2 into minus 1 plus 7 that is because uh, this is p dash when you will put uh, th 3 in this you will get this the ln 2 in th this fashion and uh, 1 by 6 because the constant time is 6 right so the answer we will get is this so this is how you need to check for whether the polynomial is becoming 0 or not and for the exponential function you need to replace d by coefficient of the exponential function right so this is how it goes now we will see the second example so now the second example and that is d minus ln of alpha to the power 4 which will be applied on y which is equals to alpha to the power x plus beta to the power x so the yp of x will be 1 upon d minus ln alpha to the power 4 which will be applied on alpha to the power x plus beta to the power x which is the f of x for this case okay so here we need to replace uh, d by ln alpha and uh, ln beta for both the cases respectively right so here you can see when we put d equal to ln alpha this will become 0 and that is why you need to take the first differential again when you put uh, you take the first differential you will get 0 so you need to go as many steps as till you get non zero answer right when you replace d by this ln alpha okay so we need to take up to the fourth differential right so here we have p of d equal to d minus alpha therefore we get ln alpha p of ln alpha p of uh, p dash of ln alpha p double dash of ln alpha and p3 of ln alpha uh, here there is a typo it is not a it is alpha right so don't get confused here it should be alpha so p double dash alpha p double dash of ln alpha and p th third differential will all uh, when they replaced by ln alpha will be equal to zero so that is why we need to go for the fourth differential and uh, when we take the fourth differential right so what we will get here is p of d equal to d minus ln alpha to the power 4 p dash equal p dash d equal to 4 into d minus ln alpha to the power 3 p double dash equal to 12 minus 12 into d minus ln alpha right ln alpha to the power 2 and p3 p third differential will be equal to what uh, d minus ln alpha into 24 and when we take the fourth differential it is independent of d or it is a constant that is 24 so this 24 is what this is fourth factorial right so general formula you can write or you can remember is that whenever you take the differential of this uh, uh, form that is d minus ln alpha to the power n and you take the nth differential the nth differential will be n factorial right the nth differential will be n factorial and uh, all other evaluated at this point that is d minus uh, something uh, and this uh, you evaluate uh, rest of the differential at this point then you will get the zero so uh, finally we will get x to the power 4 into alpha to the power x and this 4 factorial right so p to the p fourth differential ln alpha will be what 24 so 4 factorial plus we have put it what ln beta in this case for this uh, expression and uh, for this part we beta to the power x divided by ln beta minus ln alpha to the power 4 and i have told you one property ln m minus ln n is equal to what ln m by n so the answer will be what 
एक्स टू द पावर फोर इन टू अल्फा टू द पावर एक्स डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस बीटा टू द पावर एक्स एल एन टू द पावर फोर बीटा बाय अल्फा राइट सो दिस विल बी द आंसर सो दिस एल एन टू द पावर फोर इज वॉट एल एन बीटा बाय अल्फा होल्ड टू द पावर फोर दिस मीन्स राइट सो सिमिलर टू द साइंस स्क्वेयर एक्स केस यू कैन राइट एल एन टू द पावर फोर इन दिस क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज वॉज दिस सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल नाउ वी विल सी सेम अदर्स